Hi guys, this is Kat. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a chit chat get ready with me and I'm gonna talk about my study abroad experience and basically just how to get used to different environment quicker. So I'm gonna spread these into two parts. First, language barriers. Second, lifestyles. Okay, let's get started. First, let's talk about language barriers. It is completely normal that you're scared to communicate to others in another language. Don't give yourself too much pressure. I've never seen a native speaker make fun of other people who are trying to learn their language. Also, I just want to say that I know a lot of people saying like, uh, you have to make like local friends to practice your English with them. You shouldn't make any Chinese or Asian friends. Honestly, that's like really hard if you're not confident enough about your speaking. But when I first arrived in Australia, my first friend was a Vietnamese and obviously I can't speak Vietnamese and she can't speak Chinese. That's why we both have to like communicate in English and we would like laugh at each other because our like broken English basically. Um, but like also improve our language skills together. And that is just how I slowly built my confidence in speaking English. This is like so hard to blend. Anyways, I'm not going anywhere so like don't mind me if my makeup is not like perfect. Just add a little bit more. I'm just using like the Maybelline eraser. I'm pretty sure that's the name. Yeah. Instant Age Rewind. This was like my first concealer I've ever owned. As for how to adopt to a new environment and lifestyle. For me, I stayed in Malaysia for about three years before I came to Australia. It's probably why I can adopt to a new environment like super quick now. But no worries if you've never been abroad before. I'm gonna open this small mirror here and just look this way while I do my contour because I can't really see from here. Anyways, um, as I previously mentioned, you definitely can and should make some Chinese or Asian friends. They definitely will make you adopt to this environment like quicker and won't make you feel that lonely. If you can, try to choose a homestay or student accommodation. So, um, that just really helps to make friends and your homestay host will like probably will be nice enough to like bring you out on weekends you know just so you don't feel lonely and also i met my first friend in homestay and that honestly helped me a lot if you're like under 18 you most likely have to choose a homestay it's a good thing though like it's a good thing to be under 18 you know you'll find out I can't really talk when I'm doing my makeup, but I can only like focus on one thing. But like, I'm trying my best, guys. So like, don't make fun of me. Um, I'm also not going anywhere today, so my makeup probably just be like super simple. Yeah. So if you're about to, or if you're considering to study abroad, please don't be afraid. Everything will be fine. I used to be those kind of person that I can't even sleep alone at night in my room. I'm just scared of darkness. I used to cry when my parents went on a trip. I'm not really an independent person. So if I can do it, you can do it. Alright guys, that's basically the end of this video. I really wish that this video helped you even just a little bit. See you next time. Bye!